Well, no, it's just there's a couple people in here. Um, first of all, I do want to just make sure that I once again thank all of you for coming. Um, the local friends, the friends who drove from Maryland, the family who flew in. Um, it just really means I so we were much. getting a gift when we came. <laughs> <laughs> you get nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Get a long <laughs> yeah. 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 It's our company. And I just want to make sure that you all know that you know planning a Florida from Missouri and Florida, planning a party from Missouri and Florida. I really did pass grammar class. Um, it, it, it would never have been able to happen without. The help of some local friends um, of my parents. So, want to make sure we have a special thank you to Don and Lane. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much um, to Harry, Lee, and Barbara. I just can't even begin to thank you. I know. These amazing, amazing centerpiece arrangements, all the hurricanes, these these crabs that are that are painted gold and the uh, oyster shells. I mean, what a creative bunch you are. And I'd be honored to plan any party with you guys. <laughs> thank you so much. I really you. appreciate you. Thank you. That is, um, from us. And uh, you know, what do you call these two? Your mom and dad? <laughs> Or whether you call her Jean or Gina. <laughs> Sorry. Um, everyone calls this one Sam Rachel. or Sammy or Junior or Sammy Junior. Um, or you call him Meanie and Poppy. Or you call him Auntie and Uncle Sam. Um, there's never been a lack of love from the two of you. <laughs> um, and you taught us a lot about life. And I think one of the coolest things that, that you taught us is you taught us like the humor. Uh, you taught us that um, relationships are so much about compromise. Um, there isn't a marriage in this room, not a marriage in this room that's perfect. And uh, we could sit down and write on a piece of paper the things that annoy us about our spouses, and we could probably write a really long list of the things that are just amazing. Uh, and what you taught us is that we have to have compromise, you know, and we embrace the things that we fell in love with about our spouses, and we are patient <laughs> with the things that annoy the hell out of us. <laughs> this is I don't all care news to me. I don't care who you are. You got annoyances to your spouse. Right? You have to feel it. But, um, I love you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, man. <laughs> Little did I know I married her brother. <laughs> And I know for those of you who are new friends of theirs here in Kilmarnock, or whether you've been friends with them for a gazillion, a million years, <laughs> um, <laughs> we, uh, we didn't want for much. We didn't want for much. And, and I don't mean that in material things. We, um, he was punished a lot. <laughs> I, was like, I was the queen, I'm sure you know. <laughs> but, um, you were my favorite. <laughs> I honestly don't think either one of us ever used the words we hated you, um, ever, even under our breath. Um, we, we understood discipline. We knew we needed discipline. Uh, you taught us foundation. You taught us such a strong foundation that we were able to go on and marry and raise amazing children. Yes. Yes. And you taught us to value not only family, but a in this room. Um, and so we couldn't be more honored to be your children <laughs> and your friends feel the exact same way. And so if we could raise a glass for 50 more years of the Words, I um, highlight them every once in a while. Um, <laughs> there's no 
nothing left to say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> this party was planned, um, and, and, and Mitzi took care of so much of it, um, and we, we did pick, pitch in together to put this together, but um, she worked so hard uh, to put this together and bring everybody here. We thank everybody for coming. Um, Mike was in charge of the cake. Just want to make oh, sure. Oh, I made the cake. Watch out. I made the cake. I made the cake. I've gone through life, I've, I've served time in the service, and um, you know, I've raised my kids to, to be honest, and all these things I got from my parents, and I've worked very hard, and a hard work ethic, and to be honest, and to go through life true. So, for that, I thank both of you. Hey, we love you. Man. Hey, you're here. Hey, you're here. I don't know that I'll make it 50 more, but it's <laughs> Cheers. Thank you all. You will. Our journey here to 50 years is because of people like you that has shared time with us and all that and has made this all happen. Yeah. And no matter how many more years that we have, it's because of people like you that has shared many and many a, a nights or parties or whatever and all. We love all of you. We right? And we want to continue on sharing time with all of you. So we're not leaving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to say one final thing. Um, Mike and I have been here for a you think, oh, I wish I would have done this differently, I wish I would have done that differently. But you know, I don't remember being these terrific parents that they think we were. <laughs> but, uh, they didn't do it that way. <laughs> but I would like to say that we must have done something right because look what we produced. Yeah. <laughs> and to our three beautiful grandchildren. grandchildren that are doing very, very well at college. And to you, Paul. We love <laughs> all of you. <laughs> to the outlaw. You're our favorite son of all. The so only one you got. Would you eat your cake? Would you eat your cake if you don't like it? You can talk to Mike. <laughs> Everybody had a black sheep in the family, right? <laughs> <laughs> and somebody's got to take on that role. <laughs> Mike, if anybody from the Kilmarnock group doesn't like your cake, tell me, and they won't get their cream puffs That's this year. <laughs>